Wheels and tires, let's start here. For wheels and tires, we've got Method Racing MR101 beadlock wheels, all right? Great wheels. I've had very limited experience with them, but I have had experience with beadlocks in the past. These were much easier to put together. I had a better experience with them. They seem very well made, everything like that. Only time will tell as far as durability, but as I've said in other videos, they're used in off-road racing and all kinds of stuff that uh, they, their, their reputation is already very high, so I, there's not a whole lot I have to say about them. I don't have to say it because it's well known, but I will say they're a great wheel, and they're a very thin aluminum beadlock here, uh, but it works great. It's lightweight, uh, alloy wheel, again, 17 inch, a little bit of offset. So they have, so it, you know, if you go higher, you got to go wider. So they're a 12 millimeter offset. I always use locking wheel nuts with a particular key so that it's harder to steal the wheels. I only have the key for them. Working with Interco, this is an Interco radial TSL. It's a harder compound than the normal TSL. It's the same style of very aggressive off-road tire, but a harder rubber compound. So they do last a little bit on the road as the normal TSL doesn't last on the road. This one is supposed to last a little bit on the road. I'll keep you guys updated. Check the website. I'll update it and let you know exactly how long they last. All right, we got the bumper here, high lift jack on top of the bumper, custom snorkel here. The reason you need a custom snorkel is because the, the snorkel that comes with it is not actually a snorkel. There's a split in it down here and it, it can intake water where the split is and it's just a raised air intake, all right? So you, that's why you put a snorkel. Also, we'll have a full cage and we had to change the snorkel so it'll, so it'll clear the roll cage roof rack. Again, same tires running a 35 inch spare, a little, a little narrower. These are a 12 and a half inch wide. This is a 10 and a half, uh, let's see. Yeah, 10 and a half inch wide. These are custom bone tactical jerry can and water can holders that we made here. All right, they work pretty awesome. Water, they're locking. I don't have the locks on there now. They're still making everything, putting it together. This, as you guys know, this will be the compressor, the air compressors right here. This will be the tank for the air compressor. We got a winch on the back bumper as well. You can see there's a winch there. And that pretty much Gets the updates that we've got going so far. Again, updating you guys, letting you know this is where we're at with the build. Stay tuned, comment, go ahead and open it up for discussion. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, bone out.